All right, I know why you're here. You're looking for the simplistic solution to your dual PC audio issue, and I am here to help you. So stick with me. I'm going to do my best to keep it short and sweet. Here we go. So first things first, to capture your gameplay on your gaming PC, for me personally, I use the Elgato 4KX here. We also can use the Elgato 4K Pro, which is an internal capture card for your streaming PC. Completely up to you. All right. Now, in order for your streaming PC to pick up your gameplay from your gaming PC using the 4KX here, you're going to take an HDMI cable from your graphics card and put it into the input on your 4KX. Then you're going to take the USB-C cable and connect it to your streaming PC. Now, if you have the 4K Pro, you're just going to connect the HDMI cable to the input of the 4K Pro. The 4K Pro is already installed on your streaming PC. Next, for audio, now bear with me, there's a couple different options. You can go with the Wave DX here, paired with the Wave XLR here, or you can go with the Wave DX paired with the XLR dock here. Now, the XLR dock attaches to the back of your Stream Deck Plus. Once you attach these two, you have yourself this bad boy here. Stream Deck Plus, XLR dock. If you'd like to know all that um, in detail, I have it up here for the XLR dock and the Stream Deck Plus video. Now, third option, which is the most cheapest and easiest solution, is the Wave 3. The Wave 3 is a USB microphone that you plug into your streaming PC and you are set. That is it. Now, all three of those options come with Wavelink software. You're going to go to the Elgato website, download Wavelink software. Once you get Wavelink software installed on your streaming PC, you're going to open that up. And once you have your capture card all set up, you're going to jump into your Wavelink software and you're going to add the Elgato 4K capture card or 4K Pro audio into a channel in your Wavelink software. Once you do that, you're going to go over to your gaming PC. Now, my gaming PC, I am running a Radeon RX 7900 XTX. So this is how you're going to do it this way. For this, you're going to right click, go to display settings. Here, it's going to tell you that you have two different displays because your PC is picking up your capture card as your second display. Now, when you open this up, it's going to have two displays. It's going to be on extend these displays. You're going to switch it to duplicate these displays. And it's going to join the two and as one. Now, that's for the Radeon. Now, let me show you how to do this with a NVIDIA capture card. All right. So that was the AMD Radeon graphics card. Now, if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, what you're going to do is you're going to go into a NVIDIA control panel. Click on set up multiple displays. On your screen, it's going to look a little different. On your screen, it's going to look like what it did with the Radeon. The one and the two are going to be right next to each other because your capture card is telling your monitor that there's two different displays. You're going to right click on the one, clone with, and click on the two. And it's going to conjoin those two displays into one. All right, simple as that. Now, the way I do it is I have my audio, my headset attached to my Stream Deck Plus, which is uh, connected to my XLR dock. Um, and that's how I listen to my gameplay. So I do not have my headset connected to my gaming PC, which allows me to listen to my alerts on my stream. There's no delay as far as audio coming from your gaming PC uh, into the Wavelink software at all. And if there is, it's very, very minimal. I mean, I play Warzone and I have no issues listening to, okay, a lot of issues in audio in Warzone. We know that. But I meant there's no delay. So that is the way that I do it. It is absolutely 
it's simplistic and easy as heck to do it this way without running an auxiliary cord from gaming PC to streaming PC and allowing the device to listen to it. Just that was just a headache. Okay, there are videos out there that make it more difficult than it should be. All the hardware I named today, I have affiliate links down below. Also, you can use my promo code ZZ-BK right here. Save you 5% on all the products. Also, Elgato has a bundle deal for the uh, XLR dock and the Stream Deck Plus, which the promo code does not work with because it is already on a sale or on a bundle deal, I should say. Um, but for everything else, if you already have a Stream Deck Plus and you just want to buy the XLR dock, the promo code will save on that along with the microphone and or the Wave XLR if you want to run with that or the Wave 3 USB microphone. That is it. That's the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did like the video, subscribe to the channel and share this with somebody who is struggling with dual PC audio issues to help them out. And as always, catch on the flip side.